Hi, everybody. Well, this is day, sorry, week two, day two, page two, picture graph, muffins sold. Directions, use the picture graph to answer the questions. Before we start, a quick reminder. Down here, it says the word key. When you're looking at a graph, the key, and I'll draw it with some red lines too, the key lets you know what the little pictures mean. Because when you first look at this, you may go, oh, I can see. This one has one muffin, this one has two, this is three, four. But if you look at the key, you'll see that it's actually, each picture represents two muffins. This is two, this is two, this is two. Oh, and this is a half, which means it's a one. This is two, 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 this is one. How many muffins does each represent? Now, I'm going to do this whole thing because this one can be very, very difficult. How many muffins does each muffin represent? I'm going to give you a few seconds to try, but you can see it right there in the circle. It's two. How many muffins were sold on Saturday? All right, let's look at Saturday. I want to see if you guys can get it. All right, if you counted by twos, two, four, six, you know you had six on Saturday. How many muffins were sold on Sunday? So I'll give you a chance to try that on your own. You can just count them. You can count by twos. You can add them with plus and minus. I mean with plus. All right, here we go. Two, four, six, eight, and eight plus one is nine. Nine muffins were sold on Sunday. How many muffins were sold on Friday and Saturday? Now, it doesn't say in all, but since it says and, and were sold, that makes us help, that helps us, and the words how many, that helps us realize this is going to be a plus question. They probably want us to add Friday plus Saturday. But we need to find out what Saturday and Friday were. Once again, Friday plus Saturday. So let's see. Saturday was six. We already have that right there. And Friday is two, four, six. Six plus one is seven. So we have seven. Then we just add them together because they said Friday plus Saturday. Seven plus six equals 13. How many more muffins were sold on Sunday than Friday? More means often minus. In other words, this says how many muffins were sold on Sunday, more muffins were sold on Sunday than Friday. In other words, Sunday minus Friday. So let's see. Sunday was nine and Friday was seven. We can see that because... Sunday was 9, and Friday was 7 right there. So 9 minus 7 is 2. Answer is 2. I think I might, sh I should probably give you guys a, a pause so that you can try and answer the problem on your own. Let's do that. How many fewer muffins were sold on Saturday than Sunday? Just like the word more right here, the word fewer sometimes means minus 2. So in this case, how many fewer muffins were sold on Saturday than Sunday? Saturday has six, and Sunday has nine. If this is going to be a minus, we know, and, and we haven't learned uh, negative numbers yet, so it has to be the bigger number minus the little number. So what is nine minus six? The answer is three. Dee, dee, dee. How many muffins were sold in all? Whenever you see in all, it means plus. And it usually means plus everything. You add everything together. How many muffins were sold in all? So that's going to be seven plus six plus nine. I'll give you some chance to do this one on your own. Seven. Let's try red again to keep the theme. Seven, that's not red. Seven plus six plus nine. 
Give you some time to try that on your own. All right. Seven plus six is 13. 13 plus nine, because we just did seven plus six, so those are done. 13 plus nine, and nine plus three is 12. Carry the one. One plus two is two. 22. Number eight. How many more, and remember, when we see more or fewer, that usually means minus, how many more muffins need to be sold to reach a total of 25? To answer this problem, we have to get the answer from number seven. If we want to get from 25, sorry, from 22 to 25, there's a number of ways of doing this. You could do a number line, 22.23 dot 24 dot 25 one two three so we know it's three or we could do 25 because like i said it's a minus over here see the minus 25 minus 22 i'm sorry not 25 minus 25 that would just be zero 25 minus 22 five minus two is three two minus two is zero we have a three all right, friends, uh, I'm going to try and probably do those, um, give you guys more chance to respond in these when I do math problems, I think. I haven't decided yet. I'm still working on these videos. Have a great day. Oh, sorry. This was, this was picture graph, muffins sold, week two, day, where are we, sorry, day, so week two, day two, page two. Have a great day.